Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna check out top 3 best portrait lens for Canon. Starting at number 3. Samyang 10. Samyang 10mm f2. Aided as NCSCS is an affordable lens. But, since we're talking about an affordable lens, some sacrifices need to be made, right? Let's begin with the good stuff first. It's a lens for APS-C DSLRs, that packs a focal length of 10mm, and a maximum aperture of f2. 8. Pretty standard features. The design is pretty modern and compact, with its dimensions of 87x 104mm and weight of 580 grams. As for the image quality, it's quite good, yet not impressive. The highlight of this lens is, for sure, its fast aperture rating. Not only it's fast, but one of the fastest for the price. And build quality is really decent too, despite its low weight. And now we come to the less positive things. It's the lack of autofocus. Such a shame, as most lenses have this feature at this price. However, this problem is rectified, by enabling an enormous depth of field combined with a short focal length. But, if you want a wide angle for your APS-C camera, this is an amazing buy. If we take a look at today's lens market, there aren't a lot of APS-C wide angle lenses, which goes in favor of this product. For those who want solid image quality, build quality, fast aperture rating, Samyang will successfully fulfill the expectations. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Sigma 14 to 24 mm. This lens is aimed towards users that use full frame DSLRs, hence the astonishing price. The lens comes with the ultrasonic autofocus with laser grade precision, but lacks any image stabilization, which is something I don't like here. Despite its top grade image quality, the lack of stabilization will still prevent you from capturing stable videos. But, if you want to capture sharp photos, that's where this lens will exceed your expectations. During my time with it, I noticed that picture quality and sharpness are unparalleled across the entire image frame, even with the higher aperture settings. The only downside is that there isn't filter thread and of course, I think it's not too wide, especially compared to some of the Canon's lenses. And number one of this list. Canon FS17. When we compare the pricing between this one, and the first one on the list, it's clear that Canon FS17 to 55mm f2. 8 is USM is more expensive. However, I still think that the first one represents a better buy. While this lens is a bit older, it still provides an image quality that's unparalleled at this price. One thing that makes this lens stand out is its amazing autofocus and image quality. We have ring type ultrasonic autofocus which works fast and is razor sharp. On the other side, I'm surprised we don't have weather seals here, especially given the price. And what's even less impressive is the lack of lens hood. Unfortunately, you'll have to buy it separately. Putting the not so good stuff aside, I think this lens is one of the best you can get for the price, despite its age. With its impressive image quality and fast aperture rating, you can't go wrong with this one when it comes to travel photography. All of these items are available on Amazon. I have included all the links in the description. You can check out this links for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button below, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe.